it's rare I post a video and somebody, when I mentioned the price of my trailer, uh, which was 17500 they sell for more than that now. And I've been offered more than that for this trailer this year because of the pandemic. Um, a couple of people have offered me money to buy this thing. Um, uh, but people point out that, you know, I don't have that kind of money. And uh, money is extra tight now for many people. And, uh, you know, I certainly understand. There are other alternatives. Uh, you could buy a kit. You could buy, there are kits available. You can buy a pre-made, and pre-made, you know, the range of prices on pre-made varies quite a bit. It goes anywhere from six or seven thousand dollars up for a usable trailer. Uh, you know, and there are ones that are just a box and you finish them yourself. But I hang around the TNTTT.com forum, which is for teardrop trailers, and primarily it's, uh, while there's a lot of good information in general about teardrop trailers, it's really a builder's forum, and there's great resources in there for building a teardrop trailer. And one of the people who lurks there is uh, uh, Tony Latham, and he caught my eye. He came out with this book, Building a Teardrop Trailer, Plans and Methods for Crafting an Heirloom Camper. And uh, this picture on the front here is of his last teardrop trailer, and it's really quite nice. And uh, Tony's built several of these, and uh, I mean, when I say build, I mean build from scratch. He lurks there in his forum. Very nice guy. And Tony, I just I'll mention, he's uh, one of the good guys. Uh, Tony was a uh, game warden type guy, and uh, he was out there catching people who hunt illegally and trap illegally and, uh, you know, do uh, bad things in the woods. And uh, he's one of the guys who was helping protect nature. So, uh, hey, well done. I like that. You know, I was happy to get a copy of his book and, uh, and to take a look at it. Now, I'm not much of a book reviewer, but uh, I'll just read you a few things in here. Uh, Tony says, it's not clear who built the first teardrop trailer, but in 1939, popular Homecraft magazine uh, printed an article about a small camper built by Lewis Rogers of Pasadena, California. And that was pretty much the prototype of, uh, of these trailers. I'm sure other people were building them at the time, but he got in print first, so he gets the credit. Tony comments on the teardrop trailer. The, the teardrop trailer concept has stood the test of time. For folks who aren't interested in the behemoth trailer, who like to cook and eat outside and stare into a campfire, followed by a dreamy sleep, and the teardrop are unrivaled. Well, I couldn't agree more. <laughs> I mean, a teardrop falls between a RV and a tent, and it's just got the element of both. Uh, I got in this trailer last night. I'm out here in Pennsylvania. It's cold. It's October. Sleeping in this trailer, it's uh, it's really great. So you have to choose. You know, you uh, if you don't have the money to buy a ready-made. You know, or if you want to buy a ready-made, or maybe finish it yourself, you can save a lot of money. Uh, you can. Uh, Go for a kit. There are kits available. Or you can build from scratch like Tony did. And uh, Tony's built several of these things. And uh, it's just funny to read his, uh, his, his, some of his comments. Uh, I have two commercially built utility trailers. The wiring looks like it was done by someone who hated their job. From time to time, I find myself fixing their lack of worksmanship. Take some time with this and be proud of your craftsmanship. <laughs> I couldn't agree more. Uh, he talks about the uh, cost. He estimated he spent about $4,000 on his teardrop trailer. Now that probably excludes tools and, uh, and he has some experience, but that's the whole purpose of this book is to give you some guidelines to avoid mistakes and that saves a bucket of money. And if you're good with wood, you know, I mean, if this is your first project and you haven't, you know, driven a screw with a screwdriver, you might be biting off a lot, you know, it may take you a little longer. But if you have some woodworking experience and you have a small shop or something, you can save a bucket of money building the trailer yourself. You can see Tony's work in his YouTube videos. I'll put a link in there for that right over here. And uh, he takes you on a tour of his uh, trailer. Uh, that's what that link is to. And I'll have another link in the, in the comments which show you time-lapse photography of him building the trailer. In the table of contents, he's got uh, the design considerations, construction strategy, the workbench, the chassis, 
I'll just point out he makes his own chassis, welding it, you know, buys his own axle, puts it on. This is not rocket science, but you need somebody to show you how to do it, and he does it. He taught his wife to weld. She welded. He's not like a welder. He's a game warden. He learned how to weld in his shop. <laughs> he did it himself. So uh, for, the, uh, for the timid, you know, he, he says you, in his book... He can show you how to do it, but there's there's no school for this. You just learn as you go. It's funny because the maker of this trailer said the same thing. He just learned as he went. So uh, he's got things on uh, building the walls, uh, fiberglass, epoxy. He's got uh, building the doors, floor plans, assembly. He's got a whole chapter on solar, a uh, chapter on electrical ventilation uh, I'm not going to go through them all but he does uh, use the Propex heater and that's a heater that I use in this trailer it's an a number one heater he's got chapters on the propane uh, insuring uh, he's got a lot in plenty of other resources other books and things now you can find Tony lurking on the tiny teardrop trailer forum TNTT forum TNTTT forum and uh, he's always out there helping people who are having problems and giving them guidance. It was a very interesting read for me because um, I was able to pick out the construction features of my trailer and how things are done and understand them a little bit more. So um, it's a very, uh, once you get into it, it's pretty technical um, about how to do things. You know, there's no non there's no wasted words in this thing. <laughs> it's all how-to. Uh, he's not telling a fancy story or something here. He's telling you how to do things, how to attach the walls, how to glue it, how to screw it, how to clamp it. And uh, I would not try and build a uh, teardrop trailer without this book. Uh, so for those people who, uh, who say they can build a teardrop trailer, for less money than I spent for mine, here's your chance. Here's, once again, here's the title, Building a Teardrop Trailer by Tony H. Latham. You'll find him on Amazon.